uh, just went and picked up some nails. <clears throat> I'm excited to start framing, so that's gonna be fun. I think it's out of necessity. Russell's getting antsy. Just a couple project updates. So I placed this so that I could move all of that, have a, a dry place for the winter. I'm gonna cover it. Um, and then this is new. I cut into the hill here um, a little place for my trailer. Of the leaves are changing color and winter's not far so winter's coming. I moved um, a lot of the, the, the rocks uh, we used for the retaining wall. So I've started to mill some of the lumber. Hey girls! So it's been rainy for the last few days. Um, it's been raining pretty good. And um, it's shifted my focus from out here, finishing a couple of these uh, to inside. And we're in a good spot for winter to come um, so that things aren't buried. That was my biggest issue is I didn't want to leave a lot of these projects uh, unfinished and then get covered with snow. So. But we're slowly shifting to the basement, so I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, it's been a while since um, since I tried to make a video, and I don't usually talk, so uh, we have a lot going on down here. <clears throat> um, first of all, we've had to move everything out so that I can start demoing the basement, <clears throat> and we got a lot of drywall off the walls, and. Um, luckily, I had some family um, in the area that kind of gave me a hand with that. Uh, but yeah, we haven't been doing too many projects because of that. Actually, um, a lot of people have come up and and visited us over the last you know a few months, the summer months of Alaska. Um, so for those of, of you that haven't been in the house, our entire basement is open down here, and um, some of it is eight foot ceilings and some of it is six foot ceilings. We're gonna use the whole thing. And, and so we've decided to use uh, the garage bay as a living room. And then the um, back half of the garage bay, uh, we're gonna turn into a guest bedroom and a bathroom, a closet. Um, and then I'm still doing my office. So right now, this is our garage space. And it it's divided by a big beam that comes down the middle here. and I've been able to pull my truck in here in this far, this right side of the bay. Um, here's our garage door here. Um, I've been able to pull in and, and the back half of my truck sticks out into this open area. And this is what he used as his workshop and uh, the previous owners. And we're converting this into a guest bedroom. And then we'll, we'll start framing this whole area off into a guest bedroom, a bathroom, and then a long hall back here. Um, and then this whole side here, it's six foot ceiling, but we're going to still use it. So we're, we're going to do laundry room here and, uh, we'll do a, we'll do kind of an office space about right here. Uh, use this space as a hall, uh, for, for toys and stuff. But this whole area here is going to be converted into a living room. So what we're going to be working on today is this area here getting some doors put in you know it's it's a shame that I didn't um, show this earlier with my my other projects I got going on um, but you know I sit and brainstorm you know at night kind of what what we're thinking um, either whether for the backyard kind of our landscaping goals stuff um, you can see here we kind of adjusted the fire pit to over here um, the other side of the hill but um, I've been pretty diligent with sketching out almost all of our projects and how it's going to look like here's the chicken coop you can kind of see what that looks like we did some some adjustments to it kind of on the fly like uh, instead of keeping the the hen house just boxed in we kind of extended it out to kind of give them more chicken run um, but it just kind of helps me figure out uh, what things are going to look like. I've been sketching out kind of my squat rack that I want to make. Uh, but, you know, and I don't know how well you guys can see this. Everything from the 
the office that that we're going to start making um, and what that's going to look like and the, the, the materials that I would need. Um, I, I really like to have um, everything planned out from, okay, I'm going to want an HDMI cable here, so I need to run this over through the wall and um, every single thing that I usually need to edit and, and to work um, is kind of planned out, the materials that, um, that I'll be using. Um, so when it comes to the downstairs, we've been playing around with lots of different ideas for this. And this is a pretty good um, uh, depiction of how we're going to do it here. The only difference is, is that instead of putting the closet attached to the guest bedroom, uh, we've decided to switch places with the bathroom. So before we were going to put it here, we'll just swap these rooms. Yeah, every bit of this has been mocked up. My office, electrical, um, just kind of odds and ends. Uh, just rough, rough uh, electrical plan. I'm not sure if you can hear me, um, but this is our, our crawl, our low crawl. Uh, this is where our water filter is. This is where we have um, a bunch of old uh, long-term storage. But it kind of gets damp in here. In fact, um, sometimes you come in there's condensation, some puddling. Uh, it's not too bad, but we don't want to store a bunch of stuff on the ground because it could get wet. So uh, what I've done is I've started to put some of our shelving uh, that we have in our garage and I'm just getting it off the ground um, so that we can uh, throw um, some of this uh, junk into this. Um, we have a bunch of paint and um, just kind of old uh, home repair stuff that we don't really want to get away, throw away. Um, we'll put it in these cupboards to kind of keep it out of sight, out of mind, but if we need it, we have it. And then we're gonna pack this full so we can get stuff out of the way so we can start working. The biggest problem is, is man, when I start working, I'll get something done, um, and then when I move on to the next project in the garage, I've moved all the stuff that we have, our camping stuff, and uh, in the way. And so I'm getting kind of tired of moving things around our projects, and uh, this will kind of help me consolidate it into an area that I can start working some more. I've always wanted to do this. Not as hard as what I was anticipating. We're gonna frame in the door for the closet, and then another door for the room.
this is a little bit hairy because this is my support game for my house. And as you saw, I had to cut the chainsaw to 82 inch door frame to rough frame it in. And then uh, right here, we're going to be having the exact same thing, another doorway right next to this right here. So this is done. Um, and it's 32, 32 inches by 82 inches for a 30 by 80 door. Um, and that's just going to be a, a, a free handy door uh, for 6 inch walls. And I had to do 6 inch walls on the inside because my beam is uh, uh, 6 inches. So um, we're just about equal to a 2 by 6. So um, yeah, so far so good. I'm about to set this down anchored to the concrete. Got some Tapcon screws, and uh, this is actually my first time using them, so I'm going to try to figure out what to do in here. I'm going to do four of these bad boys right in the concrete here. I like my placement. This is my second take, and that's because I messed up. I uh, I didn't square my wall. I didn't level it. I uh, I just basically pushed up against the concrete without even thinking about how the concrete is not level, and so. Undo all of those. That is better. And on this side, we're going to do the same. Okay, that's it for today. So we didn't do, I didn't do a whole lot. Um, just that back wall and the door frame. I, uh, I wanted to get that done. That's been stressing me out because it involves our beam. But um, I feel better now that that's done. I still have to cut that doorway out right next to it. Now, I hate doing that but I'll get that done and then we're looking good 